what's up, people? It's your boy Beast Gamer Kuma. And we're here, of course, to talk about the PS5 Pro, which was displayed today at the Sony Showcase, where I'm just like. I said it before in the beginning when they started talking about coming out with a pro. I'm like, what could they improve really? It's a great system already. What can happen? I mean, they already came out with that other PS5 that they don't really they call it a slim, but it's actually just a replacement model to the bigger console, which wasn't really that bad. It wasn't not really that slimmer versus the other console, but here we are. Third time. And on it, personal feelings. I never really liked the pro situation ever since it started with the PS4 and Xbox One when they came out with the Scorpion and the PS4 Pro. And it was just like, that was kind of a bit of a difference when it comes to the speed. But then the real upgrade was the PS5, which came out a couple of years later. And this is going through the same effect. And I'm starting to notice that there's a lot of L's going on with the gaming industry right now. But without further ado, let's get into this. So, as we saw in the showcase, they talked about the big three. Upscale AI, freaking uh, bigger GPU. Real talk, I was, just, I was just not impressed. I was just not impressed. Uh, the presentation was pretty, but was it impressive? Not at all. Yeah, it said advanced ray tracing, larger GPU, and AI-driven upscaling. And I'm just like... And when they try to do the side-by-side -side comparison, yes, there is a slight detail between the PS5 and the PS5 Pro, but not enough for me to go like, yay! Literally, my whole face was just not... Un I was unimpressed the whole time. And that's all they came up talking about how gamers, and I'm using that used because I don't know if they talk to everybody, they talk about performance versus quality, and many gamers would complain about the 60 FPS, and I'm like, yes, many gamers were complaining about 60 FPS, but the thing is that a lot of them, in my personal opinion, have bougie situations when it comes to gaming, and 30 FPS to me is not that bad. It's not that bad. And many of the games look still good, and it's more about how well they play, and that's what I cared about. The same situation happened when Gotham Knights came out. Everybody's trying to put up these fake videos showing what 30 FPS is versus 60 FPS, when they showed 15 FPS versus, uh, yeah, that was the real FPS that they were showing was 15. They're trying to pull that off as 30. And I'm just like, look, the game plays well, I can play it. So, like I said, but I'm not here to sway any consumer from getting what they want to get because the consumer is a consumer for a reason. It's like, you're not really going to care about the facts. You're not going to really go by actual notes and see there's not that much of a gap in the improvement. Mind you, is like this much, especially when they're trying to tell us that they put two terabytes SSD into the system. And I'm like, I got four terabytes. Technically, five, because I got the, M, the main one terabyte M.2, and then I put a four terabyte SSD M.2 into my system. So, boom. <laughs> like, what are we talking about here? And plus, let's get into the price tag. My God, seven hundred dollars. So there was two different prices because there's a digital and physical model. So right now they're saying six, seven hundred some dollars. So after tax, you're probably going to see seven eighty three, close to eight hundred if you buy the base too, because they still sell them the base separately. I don't understand that part. I don't understand that part. Why are you selling an accessory that should go with the system separately? That makes no damn sense. And then they quietly raised the price of the PlayStation DualSense 5 controller. So I'm just like, yeah, it's $5 extra. Now it's 80 bucks. Mind-boggling. The choices that's going on in this year with... It's going across the board. There's a lot of weird choices going around. And I'm just... $700 for a system that's not really doing that much. And plus, Sony also raised the price for a third time for the, the old previous systems. In Japan, what is happening right now? The only thing I can say personally is when Sony did a tweet talking about how what games do y'all want to see happen? You have you sitting on a whole bunch of IPs. 
feel like instead of wasting money on the PlayStation 5 Pro, you should have wasted that money bringing back a lot of old, if you old IPs that a lot of us like. Fuck that loves. Resistance. Infamous. Freaking Killzone. Let's like do a better version of Killzone. You got a lot of IPs that you can work on. Astrobot play the Astrobot game is dope. Kind of overpriced, but it is loved by fans right now. But still, come on, y'all. I don't know what brain cells that y'all using. It's, it's just there's a lot of elves happening in the game industry lately, and it needs to stop. Because that makes me wonder, are you really listening to the you know the, the consumers? Well, yes, you are, because that's the problem that we have. It's a double-edged sword when it comes to us as gamers, the consumer, and everything else, because you listen to the people that will blindly buy something versus actually doing a good product. Because yes, there are gonna be people that's gonna buy this PS5 Pro. Hopefully, those that couldn't get the other system, they can get this one now. But we're almost at the five-year marker. For the PS5. Soon we're going to hear an announcement for the PS6. I know it don't feel that long. But that's because. Not really that much games. Really came out that were. Like we had a weird five year cycle. With this current gen systems. Because mostly. Most of us mostly play the old IPs. And some new ones. But it wasn't enough of the new content. There's a lot of remakes. My personal opinion. I'm not going to say for everybody. You found the game out there that you enjoyed? Cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying there wasn't some decent games that came out, but some of the content that's been coming out has not had a soul. It's kind of, it's showing its shell. Again, my personal feelings. But right now, this system, eh, personally, I'm going to pass, but that's just me. But if you want to get it right now, then go for it. I hope, which I didn't see for the previous models of the PS5 go on sale, which it should have, I hope now they're going to drop the price for the previous models. If you're going to do that, please make it affordable for those that couldn't get a system. That's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts. Leave a, your thoughts in the comments below. Let's chat about it. Let me hear what your side on the whole PS5 Pro, if it's something that you want, if it's something that you not want. I want to hear your thoughts on this. But please stay tuned for another episode on... WTF gamers, yes. Seriously, what the hell's going on right now? What, what, is, what is happening right now with these weird decisions in the gaming industry? See you next time.